Greetings, everyone, from high up top of the Space Needle, the radio tower at ATAC. Zero One Time News snuck in here and said, yeah, let's do a show here. Hey, so, you know, I did something there uh, kind of funny there yesterday. I went ahead and grabbed some of that uh, OpenSim 8.1.0 that's up there. It's had a couple commits and downloaded it and compiled it. I've been playing with it on my own computer. So, hey, we'll see how that goes. I've been looking at that code for a little bit. Now, uh... Coming up today, we go over to uh, Craft and we look at Groundhog Day. Oh, that's right, the Groundhog Day. And they did a great job, you know. And uh, from there, we'll go over to look at uh, this place called Excelsior over in Kitely. As you know, Kitely is probably one of my favorite grids. I love it because it's always up and running. It's one of those things that's always up and running. And, uh, well, let's just get on over there to Craft World. Take a look at this fine looking Groundhog Day. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Now, the second day of February, a candlest day in the year 2015, 29th annual occasion of the event, that's right, accompanied by the Groundhog Club at the Chameleon Craft World Metaverse. Groundhog Phil Sears of Sears, the procrastinator of all prognosticators, was awakened from his burrow at 9.50 p.m. by his handlers. <laughs> and by the cheers of the thousands of faithful followers. Now Phil the Groundhog waved to his fans and gazed at the sky around his house and with all the help of the inner circles looked for a shadow majestically speaking in Groundhog knees he proclaimed that a shadow doth fall on the ground as six further weeks of winter will follow. No shadow was to be seen, meaning that the winter will soon be gone and the spring is just around the corner. Yay, yay, yay. We are ready for the new spring to come. Today, then spring is here. Hooey! If winter stays, well, I got you, so that's, that's okay, okay with me. Of all the joyful parties we have on the way, my favorite one, my favorite too, is Groundhog Day. Well, we sure had fun out there. <laughs> had a blast playing with all those really cool looking. <laughs> Groundhogs. We all got dressed up like groundhogs and ran around over there. Had a good old time, man. <laughs> hey, so coming up next, we're running over there to Excelsior, which I tell you, that is a beautiful build over there. Uh, you guys, if you've ever haven't had a chance to get over there, it's really a well thought out. I couldn't believe it. Uh, all the intricacy of that build. If you really take your time and look at it, I. Uh, <laughs> I really I thought it was something else, so uh, hey, let's get over there and take a look at it. <laughs> Excelsior, a futuristic city put together for the joys of the future world. What one can bring, what one can see, what is fabricated, a 
place and space and time. Is the mind able to expand this distance and hold itself? The buzzing sounds, the lasers streaking through, carrying the high amount of electrical and pulses. The feed to the city's generator. An outpost. A worthy outpost. Created for the modern world. Good morning, that's right, Excelsior. <laughs> Head over to Sergeant's Pub, liar, man. Come on in and have a drink. Have a great morning. Well, that is definitely a very, very interesting build. And, uh, man, I'm glad I, I, I found that. I was just wandering around in the uh, the Kitely uh, destination thing, uh, search, uh, boom, came up. I said, man, I got to go check that out. If you guys... It's cool. Totally cool. Go over to Sarge's Pub, man, because, you know, why not? You know, I'd kick back a few beers before you go in. Kick back some while you're in there. But uh, It's time for the G-Spots. Let's get on over there and look at the G-Spot. So, up to the moment in the G-Spot. Shelby Evans, one of the best, says, uh, The Kylie Virtual Community is now running a link to the Kylie Calendar. Hey, that's right. Hey, that's good to do. That's good things, man. Good things, good things. Mine there posted about Zaphoid, one over there at uh, Education, Nova Portage. Hey, check it out over at the Hyperzet blog spot. Mine there's got a really cool looking picture. That is awesome looking, man. It is totally cool. Whoa, is that punk or what, man? <laughs> hey, Valerie Locke, you've got some really cool stuff going on. You can send that avatar over to my house for about an hour, so I could use that thing. Really hot looking deal there. Dark and Dover, man, the expedited blog spot. Get over and check that out. That is awesome, man. Awesome stuff. Here, give them a big plus. Yes, I like that kind of lingerie, man. Valerie Lux got some really cool stuff, some flowers going on. Now, Joe Builder's taking on a big task, by golly. He's going to redo that whole thing of Harry Potter's there. Hey, Joe, you get a chance. You're going over and open up that... Uh, combat uh, grid for me. I want to do some shooting of it. And I also want to get an update on your uh, your Borg shoot, uh, the Borg build also. Uh, hyper Green News. I love my Hyper Green News. Give me some Mini Moog, baby. Come on, give it, give it, give it to me, the Mini Moog. Yeah, that's right. Buzz Nada, you got it going on over there. That's right. Kylie Calendar. Snar Snowpaw. That's right. She's been get, sending us photos from her Disneyland, Disney World. I believe it's Disney World. Uh, escapade there and hybrid grid nurse you've got some really good stuff got all my feelings I'm writing notings oh yeah that's good stuff good stuff Sean Maloney craft grid in order to keep up with uh, <laughs> craft grid's head from exploding off the top <laughs> he's got some really cool stuff man you know it's one thing he always has some really great stuff sunny tomorrow hey what's going on you got a lot of cool stuff read my scrolling down below and you will catch up with all the stuff there right now what's going on with Littlefield and with uh, uh, third rock in the morning Sarge Misfits got some really cool stuff going on there about Windows 10 got much, much to do with Windows 10. When I can open the code and fix their problems by myself, I'll, I'll, I'll use that operating system. But still then, yep, yeah, let somebody else use it. I'm glad you guys are using it. Valerie Locke has got some more cool stuff. Poem of the Week, that's right. Shellen Ayers has got something really long to say. Oh, my gosh. Confusion about the viewers and all that kinds of stuff and peripherals. Whew, that is a big deal. Uh, really, 
I think uh, there's only only a very few open sim viewers that are actually uh, being, uh, you know, developed towards the open sim. Uh, most of them will they'll get along with it, and uh, but I, I do know that the Kokua branch and the uh, Firestorm branches do work directly with that, and and, and Cool Viewer does does a little bit. He he'll work. He'll help you out for sure. Jim Henley, you awesome model. Man, she got a great block. Check her out over at Jim's Finds. That's block spots there. All righty, guys. It looks like we're getting down there to the end of it. That's it. Fergus Mahone says, I got a really cool stuff. I'm going to make me a match racetrack. Hey, you guys have a great G-spot. <laughs> That's it for it. <laughs> It is time for the news. That's right. <laughs> hey, uh, you know there's really cool weather going on. I'm tell you what. Look at this cool looking time lapse, man. That's neat. But this Boston frigid temperature descend out of the north tier of the country. I'm telling you what. It is cold all the way from the mid east, Midwest. I mean, to the northeast. According to the National Weather Service people from Montana to Maine, are dealing with sub zero. Now, after all this cold snow hit and everything hit. Now it's going to go down to minus 20 degrees with wind chills in parts of Pennsylvania and New York. i tell you what, is winter really going to be over? Come on, Groundhog. Get to work with us, man. <laughs> Next up. Even after the highly controversial movie of uh, The Sniper, Texas declares Chris Kyle Day. That's right. A Medal Honor Drive, also for the petition to drive launches, to see if we can't get the guy a uh, Medal of Honor. Now, this is controversial because, as you know, that Jesse Ventura uh, took them to court and won a $1.8 million settlement because he misused his name in the book. There's a lot of controversy around Mr. Kyle. I, uh, I'm not going to... I'm going to leave it up to the people to make their mind up. Uh, but... Uh, you never know. Uh, he was a man who uh, did time for the service. He got an honorable discharge. Uh, he did a good job while he was in there. Uh, the book is something I think that was created to make uh, for sensationality and uh, to sell a lot of copies. I don't know if we'll ever know the full story behind Mr. Kyle because, sadly enough, he was shot and killed by a former member of the Marine Corps which goes on trial today in Texas. So stay tuned and see how that happens because that little town in Texas is just not really prepared to handle this type of <laughs> story, I got a feeling. But that's it for the day, everybody. That's the news, and we're out of here. If he don't see his shadow, then winter goes away. If winter goes away today, then spring is here. Hooey! If winter stays, well, I got you, so that's okay with me. Uh oh, 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 oh.